Hey everyone, Dave here, and today I'm going to be doing a playthrough of 1759 Siege of Quebec, which is part of the Great Sieges series by Worthington Publishing. And in this particular playthrough, I will be playing the French campaign. And if you're interested to see how the British play, make sure you click the link in the video description below and it will take you to that video as well. So the way that this is going to work is here we have the map surrounding the, the area of Quebec and we have troops on the board. We have our French troops are in blue, the British troops are in red and we have a morale track along the side where we both start at 10 morale. And so what we need to do is the French is we need to hold off the British until the British Navy has to depart and we're going to be doing that by trying to push their ships back repelling their troops because we do not want them to be able to get down into this upper St. Lawrence area and start moving their troops into Abraham because they will be able to seize uh, Quebec which is right there um, we do not want that to happen. So the way that this is going to play in this series is um, I will be the uh, commanding the French forces and I will be choosing these different actions that are on here and um, I will be going up against the British. Uh, this is basically the counterattack deck and uh, when we get into it I'll show you how that works. But uh, we look at the different types of orders and um, there will be um, exactly how we execute them. For example, here's skirmish. Uh, this will tell us what to do after resolving any events. Roll the uh, order die and apply results based on the chart below. And British counter order played. French troop losses are taken from north and south shore village areas. British troop losses are taken from areas of your choice. And, there's, and then sometimes there might be order restrictions. For example, here, this one here, under the Indian raids, is you have to have Indians in play. And then what's going to happen is you will roll a die and you're going to use this chart and it's going to be based upon um, the results here are the die rolls and then which column we use will show up on the counter-attack cards, which you will see as we get into this. So quickly we have orders to skirmish, which is basically to have battles. Here we can send the Indians out to do raids as long as we have them on there. We can um, order to um, hold positions. We can attack lower Quebec, try to take out their, some of their guys. We can attack upper Quebec, trying to send the French to try and take out some British troops there. We can attack the British at Abraham, but it says must have troops in Quebec to use and we must use this order if British are in Abraham in the solitaire game. So that means that if the British make it down here, we're going to have to keep attacking until we can drive them away because that would be bad news. And then um, we can also try to move troops. And then this other thing that's kind of interesting is we have these ag ag aggressive commander actions and we have two um, commander actions and then two fire ship actions and fire ships Basically, what we can do is go out and um, send ships out to try to attack and sink uh, these boats that are along the St. Lawrence River. So there's three of them. If we can sink a couple of their ships, it will be almost impossible for the British to win. And uh, the other thing is we can do over here with these aggressive actions is make things a little bit more uh, bloody during the battle. So uh, the way that we're going to do this is um, just simply selecting an order flipping over uh, one of these cards and resolving it. We're going to do it turn after turn after turn. Um, so the game is going to end in one of two ways. Either we are able to completely hold off the British by going through this whole deck, um, or we can drive their morale down, to drive the British morale down to zero. So uh, let's get ready to play. Okay, as we get started here, just wanted to let you know that I have the difficulty of this game set to uh, where the opponent is weak. So uh, we just have to hold them off for uh, 20. I have 20 cards in there, but you can make it all a lot harder uh, by adjusting the difficulty. So the first thing that uh, I think that we need to do is try to start uh, deploy the uh, depleting British troops. Um, here and so and so maybe we're going to try to go after this area here in upper quebec and if you ever wanted to realize where things are there is a dividing line on the map so upper quebec is actually a lower map and the um 
lower Quebec is actually the upper part of the map. And this go the way that this is determined is by the flow of the river. So the St. Lawrence River. So even though, so you have to think of things in reverse. So what we need to do is we need to choose to um, attack upper Quebec. So we are going to do that. And it says here, you uh, must have troops in South Shore villages or Cap Rouge to use this order, which we do. It's the beginning of the game. So uh, what we're going to do now is flip over this card. And here you see one of the counterattack cards. So we have aggressive raid slash skirmish. And it says, uh, proceed with order as issued or proceed with the order as an aggressive raid skirmish if a raid or skirmish order issued and any troop or morale losses by either side are doubled. We're just going to proceed with the issue as ordered. And then down at the bottom here, it says uh, defend lower Quebec, which is an A. And then we have flavor text here. Aggressive raids and skirmishes will increase casualties. Yeah, no kidding, uh, because everybody's going to be going guns a blazing. So that's <laughs> that's a nice reminder there. But uh, yeah, it's going to. So uh, anyways, looking at defending lower Quebec. Uh, the nice thing is we look on this chart here and um, we're going to carry through with that order because we have a chance to um, hurt the British from the, the get-go, reducing their tri uh, troops and driving their morale down. So the way that we're going to do this is we are going to roll this die right here and we roll the three and then we just go down the chart here, one, two, three. And so the British are going to lose one troop here. So this comes off the board and the British morale goes down by one space. So the French are um, off to the, a good start here by holding them off. So uh, the next thing, if we're thinking about what to do, um, is maybe we can try to go ahead and uh, make things a little bit harder for them. And um, we don't have a way to move troops. Uh, the only way that we can do that is if we start sending fire ships off to uh, these boats, which I don't haven't seen any of them um, yet trying to um, uh, move down. Of course, it's still early, but we have we want to be able to save our aggressive actions to send those fire ships out for uh, later on. So let's go ahead and try to uh, perform an attack on uh, Lower Quebec, which is on the other side of the map over here. See what we can do. So we flip this over. And we have uh, superior seamanship. So move one British ship from safe anchorage or lower St. Lawrence to an empty slot in upper St. Lawrence if available. So this is not good. Early on, they are going to, to uh, get into position down here. We cannot have that ship there. We're going to have to think about that on our next turns. And then um, we have a counterattack, which is... Uh, C. So we're going to go over here, look over here, and column C, this is where we're going to be rolling. We want to roll high in order to take out uh, British troops. So we roll the three, and unfortunately we are going to lose one of our own. So we will go ahead and lose one of our guys from here, from Beauport, and our morale will go down one as well. So um, looking at the fact that they have um, a ship there, um, I'm going to hold off on using a, using one of these actions, but we will be probably forced to do that if another one gets down there. Um, so let's see, what are we going to do? Let's we're going to go ahead and continue to attack on the upper Quebec. So we issued that order. Looking at up here, hopefully we can maybe take out some of their troops up there. So let's go ahead and flip this card over. And we have uh, Guns of Quebec, proceed with order issued or cancel the order issued and engage with the Guns of Quebec. If engaging with the Guns of Quebec, roll one die and use the results below. And they are defending lower Quebec. Um... You know what? We're going to go ahead and um, cancel the order because if they're defending lower Quebec, the French are going to be in trouble here. So let's take our chances and roll the dice by engaging with the guns of Quebec. And I rolled a three. And so one to three, reduce French morale by two. So that was not very good, but we did not lose any troops there. So... Not a uh, not a good experience for the French. The British um, kind of gave it, took it to them a little bit, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna skirmish. So this says here, um, after resolving any events, roll the order die based on the chart. And um, so this, 
we can start taking away from, uh, if we hit them, we can take away from areas of our choice. So we can choose where on the board we want to take, uh, get rid of some of these. But let's see what happens here. We have this poor command coordination. Your move troops order cannot be played this turn, and they are choosing to defend Upper Quebec, which is B. So we look over here, and we have a 50-50 shot of um, either um, either side losing stuff. So we roll the one. So unfortunately, that's bad for us. So we are going to lose one morale. And this says that uh, French troop losses are taken from the north and south village areas. So we will go ahead and lose from down here. Um, boy, the, Fr the French are not off to a very good start. Um, I think that they had their best uh, best chances when they were attacking Upper Quebec. Let's go back there and go ahead and see if we can maybe be a little bit more successful there. And this says, Wolf lands at Abraham. At least two ships must be in Upper St. Lawrence, otherwise ignore card action. Okay, so, boy, move all British troops from their reserve slots to empty Abraham slots. Then fill in an empty slate slots Abraham with troops from Levis. Then, okay, so, uh, we, we that is a bad card for, that. thank goodness we only had one boat there. But they are, they, um, so we're not going to be concerned about that because the card action is being ignored because they only have one ship there and not two. So, uh, defending lower Quebec, which is A, over here, we attacked Upper Quebec, so we have a good chance of reducing some of their troops. We rolled a five, and they are going to lose two of theirs. So two come off the board, and their morale goes down by two positions. So that was a good turn there. Um, we're not going to go to the well again because that would be trying to do that probably the third time. It would probably come to bite us. Um, so what we're going to end up doing is we will go ahead and send uh, some Indians out to raid on our behalf. Still in the same area, but um, what's going to happen is uh, we won't lose any morale. If the Indians die, well, then the, the Indians die. They're not no consequence to the French. So let's see what happens here. Um, we have... Montreal supplies. Proceed with order as issued or cancel the order and send for supplies to Montreal by rolling one die. Um, so supplies destroyed, reduce French morale by one. Supplies captured, reduce French morale by two. Increase British morale by two. Or supplies reach Quebec, uh, increase French morale by two. Well, um, I think we're just going to proceed with the issue um, as ordered. So... Um, Actually, probably not, because if we look down here uh, with the Indian raids, looks like the French are going to lose no matter what. So, you know what? We're going to go ahead and roll the die. We're going to see if maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe supplies will reach there. We roll a two. So, supplies destroyed, reduce French morale by two. One, two. Oh, boy. Not good for the French. Um... But they are going to be steadfast, and they are going to try to continue to stop the British. So um, we're going to go ahead and skirmish. The French are just designed to, it looks like we're just going to have to fight. Fight, 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 fight. Um, so let's see what happens here. Flip over this card. Supplies cut. So at least one British ship must be in the upper St. Lawrence area. Otherwise, ignore this action. Remove two of your troops from any location or locations. That is horrible. So um, we are going to be, well, we're going to lose one here. And we'll go ahead and lose one down in Cap Rouge. And... Then they are choosing to defend Lower Quebec. So here we need to roll high. The, we roll the six. So one British is going to go out. We will take out one of these here. And the British morale goes down there by one. So um, anyways, when we remove the two troops also from the supplies cut, then we also had morale go down by two steps. So... That was not very good. Um, still not a good turn for the uh, the French. We are just not getting, they are um, just getting 
pound it on, pound it on, pound it on. But they will attack, and let's see. We will go ahead and attack Lower Quebec, and we are going to go ahead and use an aggressive action down here. We are going to send a fire ship out here to um, perhaps uh, be able to send one of their ships to safe anchor. So let's see what happens. We have the Indians leave. So remove one troop marker from Indians area if there are any. Okay, so Indians leaves. And uh, where there is a counterattack. So there is um, the C. So we need to roll high for that, which we roll a two. Unfortunately, we're going to lose one of our guys here in, um, in this section. So boom, morale goes down by one. But we will roll the black die for the aggressive action. We roll the three. And unfortunately that, we're going to have uh, minus one morale. So the French are just, get, just getting pounded on this game. The British are just uh, resisting uh, the, the French uh, trying to hold them off. The, the British are just continuing to put the pressure on them. And it's driving the French morale down. So... At this point, they're going to have to try to hope to um, maybe get an opportunity to increase their morale. But um, unfortunately, we used one action over here, an aggressive action, to try to send one of their ships to safe anchor. And uh, that was not uh, very successful. So the only thing that we can do now is try to just try to continue to hold off on their casualties. Um, so let's see. What can we do? Well, we're just going to try to choose to hold right now. And um, so after resolving any events, we're going to do this. And any troop losses are taken from areas of our... Any British and French are taken from their choice. So that's going to be good. I'm kind of hoping that uh, they will choose to uh, maybe defend Upper Quebec. I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. We will see when we flip the deck over. And no, it's going to be bad for us. Wolf landing at Abraham. If at least two ships must, at least must two ships must be in Upper Saint Lawrence, which is good. There's only there's only one. Um, so then there's going to be the counter attack, which is over here. I need to roll high. I need to roll high. If we roll low, it's going to be bad for the French. We roll the six, which is good. That's going to take out two of their troops. We will take out two here in this particular section, driving their morale down by two spaces. So good move by the French there to hold off the British. Um, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and send out the Indians on a raid. And maybe we can continue to take out more of their trips. We have superior seamanship, move one British ship from safe Anchorage or lower St. Lawrence to an empty slot. Okay, um, so they have moved now. We are in position where they can start moving all of their guys there. Um, so unfortunately, we are going to have to try to attack their reserves eventually. And then we have the counterattack. So we have over here, um, we are, and any of our losses will not affect the French morale, which is good. Um, but it says any troop losses are taken uh, from Indians for the French British morale reduction are taken directly from the morale chart So we just want to drive their morale down with these Indian raids. So let's roll the die see what happens We rolled a six which is going to be minus one morale for the British So it was good. The Indians just went and hit them uh, one time. So that was okay um Next thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to attack Lower Quebec over here and we will choose to use our second aggressive action over here uh, to be able to hopefully we can send uh, one of these boats back to safe anchor. So let's see what happens. We have uh, superior seamanship, move one British ship, which we already did that. They are defending Upper Quebec. Which is good because we will be uh, we caught them off guard. They were going to fortify in a somewhere else, and uh, so maybe we'll get another high roll. We roll a three, so this means that we're going to lose one British troop. So British coming from up there, their morale goes down by one, and we're going to roll this black. 
die and roll a two, and unfortunately we're gonna lose two morale. So two times we use aggressive actions to try to sink these boats or send them back to safe harbor, and it has failed for us. It has been done nothing but drive down our morale. So our aggressive actions are not working for us this turn or this particular campaign uh, when it comes to the fire ships. So um, going back, so the only our only hope then is to try to uh, fight them off. Maybe we can try to take off some of their reserves in Orleans. Um, and the way that we're going to do that is uh, by skirmishing where we'll have our choice as to where to uh, take them out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to skirmish. And... We have supplies cut. If at least one British ship, at least one British ship must be in the upper St. Lawrence, which there is, otherwise ignore this action. Remove two of your troops from any location or locations. So uh, we're gonna lose it from the North Shore Village and from here. And unfortunately that is going to uh, cause our morale to go down to, to zero. Um, Let's go ahead and resolve the combat for this. They were um, having their rangers, and we will roll the die over here. We rolled a six, and we did manage to take out one guy, which would have been over here, and driving their morale down by one. So, unfortunately, the French were not able to uh, hold off the, uh, the British and they fell to them and they fell hard. This was a, uh, a very, very bloody campaign that uh, the French just couldn't, they had a couple of good turns, but uh, just seemed like the bottom just kind of fell out on them. They were unsuccessful uh, in holding off on any British ships coming up the river. So they lost basically due to uh, attempts at trying to stop on the naval side. So anyways, this is, uh, this was a playthrough of the uh, British campaign in uh, 1759 Siege of Quebec from Worthington Publishing. So if you want to see how the British play, make sure you check in the video description for that. And also if you want to see my review of the game, make sure that you click on the link for that. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.